mercy, your mercy, oh God. Oh God, little God, I thank you. Oh God, little God, for the opportunity. Oh God, little God. Oh God, little God, to preach your word on today, oh God. Oh God, little God, I ask, oh God, everything, oh God, that's not like you, oh God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, move it on out the way, oh God. Oh God, Lord, burn up the child, oh God. on how things were there preserved. 
You had people sometimes preserve jellies. Sometimes people was, um, preserve fruits. Yeah. And when it came down to when I was looking on lemons, how when it's preserved, it's actually more potent it than its original state. Yeah. Meaning that it's more healthier than at the time that when you just grab it from the store, my God. So Minister Gordon McDonald, what are you saying? When I'm basically is saying that God has preserved us, God has kept us for, yes, a perilous time like this. A time where it seemed like there's so much trouble in the land. And for a time like this where it seemed like people just don't want to get right. And a time like this when mothers and daughters are turning against each other. Fathers and sons are turning against each other. Yes, God has preserved his people, my God, for a time like this, my God. And the I wanted, um, also I wanted to say that how, and um, it was so many times in my life where I went through so many things and I didn't understand it. And sometimes in your life you go through certain things too. But don't you know that when you preserve, that means you're set aside. Meaning no filth, no contamination, contamination or destruction could come your way, my God. That's how good my daddy is in heaven, that he will preserve us and keep us to the side, my God. So when it's time, my God, whatever that was preserved, my God, it will be let out, my God. And what, and what are you saying, my God? Some of us got testimonies, my God, my God, that will set the house of God on fire, my God, just because God preserved us, my God. He kept us, my God.
joining us here at Clinton Chapel of Praises Virtual Church. We pray that a song that was sang, perhaps the sermon that was preached, or the lesson that was taught was a blessing to you and yours. You may not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, and we would like to take this time to extend him to you. The Bible declares that if you believe with your heart, and confess with your mouth that God raised Christ from the dead, that you shall be saved. That's right, it's just that easy, believing and confessing. I would like to tell you that this way may not be easy. Therefore, we recommend that you find yourself a good Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church. There's strength among saints, and you cannot live this life by yourself. Now, I want you to do this for me. I want you to take a moment to pray to God. Some people say, I don't know how to pray, but it's just this simple. Just take time and have a small conversation with God and tell God that you're tired of the way you're living, you're tired of the things you're doing. And believe me, I promise you that this day will be the best day and it will begin a walk that you will never regret. I'm going to pray for you now. Father, we thank you for that soul that has just chosen you to be their Lord and Savior. 
Father, we want you to do a new work within them, clean them, change them. And God, let them have the desire to further themselves with you. And God, we thank you and we love you. And we know that all things and we give all things are done by you and through you. And we give your name praise. And believe me, saints, now the angels in heaven are rejoicing because you came to Christ. And not only are the angels rejoicing, but I and we here at Clinton Chapel are rejoicing along with you. Now listen to me. You take the Lord along with you everywhere you go. Shalom. You may join us here at Clinton Chapel of Praise for any of our services. Every Sunday at 9.45 a.m. we have Sunday School. At 11 a.m. morning worship. At Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. we have prayer and Bible study. And if you would like to donate, you may do so by cash app dollar sign CCOP Church. Thank you for worshiping with us.